we put in here. And then that's going to display this texture correctly. And you can see it's already starting to change it as we go through each color channel. 454. Oh. There you are. See? Now in the shader view, we just made it darker. So if I click on the texture node, oh, looks like it doesn't want to just do the update there. That's funny. But it's already gone through, and you can see the color correction here. So now we've done there, and we've made this image darker to something that Arnold's going to like for this particular texture. Now we need to take this out value. Now we just can't take the whole out value. We actually have to take a particular channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to out value. Since this is a gray scale image, um, it doesn't matter what channel we choose, red, green, or blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to out value here. I'm going to drop this right next to the value. There's a little plus sign. I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to take the out value X and pump that into the specular roughness right there and it should connect boom there it is and then already you can tell in this little shader ball and let's change the background of that shader ball let's see if that's going to update correctly oh looks like it doesn't want to change the background so, oh well there we go you can see we get all these little highlights showing up it's just that the roughness channel is actually doing its job correctly now let's minimize this and then you can see boom such a big change from our previous render it's actually showing us some shine here now it's a little too intense if I click on the uh, can and then we can see weight is pretty cranked up high and if I can drop that for the specular that weight for that specular and I can just see you can really start to see it picking up the, the curvature and the highlights of the object which is really nice it's we're getting closer to what we want now the next thing we have to play around with is the Fresnel effect so the radiance at normal so that F0 map is what we else we have to do the same thing that we did for the roughness to that Fresnel map so that's what we're going to do. Um, hit spacebar. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to hit run. Right up here at the top it says render. If I click this off, it stops the rendering process. So it doesn't keep rendering in the background. Sometimes it this will take extra CPU power if you just keep the IPR, which is the interactive pho photographic renderer or photographic preview renderer so it you usually turn that off and then it doesn't run in the background then you can bring it back if you want I'm gonna drop this down and bring the hyper shade back up and now we need to make another gamma correction for this map down here which is the FO so this is that map that controls the Fresnel effect right here so hit tab type in gamma once again get the gamma correct hit enter uh, we're gonna scoot these down so we get that row orientation select this line now this line is going to something else there is a parameter that is not being displayed here correctly for us to punch in so we have to do it manually within the connection editor so we'll get to that in a minute so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this line right now that's going into the shader and delete it so that's the one that got on the top from the F0 map and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the gamma uh, from uh, for the roughness is we're going to take the out color and pump it into value and then we'll select the gamma and then here in the gamma values we're going to do that 0.45 for each channel taking the inverse of 2.2 there we are and now we're gonna to go to out value hit that little plus and we're gonna take that X value and we're gonna bring that into the shader the problem is the attribute that we want to pump this into is not displaying on this shader and and if you try to click on the shader there's a little drop down like this is uh, minimum medium and it 
extended, there is no parameters being shown here that we need to punch it into. It should be something that is, you know, specular normal or reference normal, the or radi radiance. So if I come down here, I select the shader, and here's all the attributes for that shader. So I'll bring up this attribute editor and right down under specular reflectance at normal this is where we need to pump this gamma correct into so there's no there's no attribute here for us to connect it to so we physically have to drag and drop this node into the actual parameter in this menu and that's the only way this is going to work uh, properly so what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make sure that the shader is selected so we see all the attributes I'm going to middle mouse click on the gamma correct, hold it, drag it. So middle mouse click, dragging it over to reference at normal under the Fresnel, under the specular, and then it brings up the connection editor. And here it is. So Maya still doesn't know how to connect this correctly. So we've got to help it along.